What's going on everyone? So it is day 13 of the daily UI design challenge. So the goal for today was create a direct messaging application. So I got some inspiration from Facebook and I wanted to use the desktop frame this time instead of using mobile because I've been using mobile a lot lately. And uh, essentially I decided to create a wireframe first this time. Usually when I do the daily UI challenges, I don't really do any sort of wireframe because it's fairly simple. And I figured it'd be a lot easier for me to do one just so I can get a visual. And this is like a super low fidelity, like almost no detail, but for me, I can kind of tell what it is. And before I do get into the actual design, if this is your first time watching this channel, I'm basically documenting myself learning about UX and UI design. So if you want to follow along my journey, go down below and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to connect as well. But uh, here, let me just run through my uh, low fidelity uh, prototype really quick right here. And uh, actually prototype, I would say design, but uh, basically this would be the profile area so the person's um, face, name, and everything. This is just a giant text box. So the conversations that you would have, obviously here would be the uh, typing. So where you type your conversation. And then on the left, you have the profile image, people right here. And then this thing right here represents the search bar. So it's super, super low detail, almost nothing there. And then let's go over to the actual high fidelity design right here. So uh, pretty much, you can see I did more of a dark theme and the difference I did for the day was I actually checked the color contrast. So essentially there's websites to check the color background on top of text so that you can see whether or not people of, you know, different ages, demographics and certain um, disabilities and whatnot can actually read your text because some colors are too bright on the background for some people so if you have like some sort of um color blindness or some issues seeing certain colors you would not be able to um other people probably would not be able to see it depending on you know what color you use so i checked for this one and these these backgrounds right here if i double click you see the um the color right here matches with the um, white I use right here. So you can easily see that there. And then also this one, I had originally a different color, but I had to change it because it was too light, the background. And based off of the um, website, the contrast checker, it told me I had to change and make it a little darker. And overall, here's like the main design. So like you saw in the back on the uh, person profile right here. And then I added this little uh, green circle to just represent that that person is online. Very similar to most, uh, I'm sure. If you've been on Facebook Messenger, you've probably seen something similar to that or even any sort of a messaging app. They have a lot of those ways to tell whether somebody's online. And then you obviously have the um, video call, phone call, conversation. I already mentioned this earlier. I did add the um, like sent and then the time. And then essentially it correlates with the you know few replying two hours later and then eventually him following up. So here's just the bottom, the typing the text with just a send button right here. And then for this side, this is basically the uh, profile. So if you go back to the wireframe, you can see this is essentially this right there. And essentially John, he is currently the person I have opened with the chat. So the way I did it is I would fill this background because these are separate. Uh, these This isn't like just one full rectangle box. These are each separate. And I colored it with the same uh, color as this background so that it would fit. Ideally, I could probably tweak it up and do some revisions if I were to spend a lot more time on this to see what looks better or even adding, you know, additional designs. But for now, I figured to know whether you're not on the actual check it would be to blend in here. This person right here, this is showcasing that they actually have a message that I like if I were this guy named Benjamin, if I were on my dashboard, this would mean that I have to read this message. So here I just added the two big number right there. And then I bolded the text and made it like white, white so that you can see it. This is more of like a grayish color, this text up here. The, the actual words are white, but then down here you can see clearly the ones that are essentially have been read already is clearly grayed out. So you can't, it's, it's as if it doesn't pop out. And then also one thing is the background for the, the message, I made it a little darker than the rest to showcase that is still a different uh, thing. And then up here, I added a little more details where uh, messages and I add this little blue rectangle line and then requests. So if you um, people that essentially would not be on your contact list that were trying to message you, they would be under here. And then unread would be ideally if you have like a bunch of messages under 
and you can't like say you have like 100 messages this would be on unread and then obviously you have the search bar here so you can search any message and then messaging up there and then overall it's pretty simple and then these people have like the yellow like meaning that you know they're active but they're not currently on and then this person doesn't have a circle at all because it's just he's not using it as much and that's ideally the main design nothing too fancy I kind of um, got some more information from other people too on Dribble and other websites that show designs, but I wanted to make this a little more of my um, own taste too here as well. But other than that, this completes my daily design update for day number 13 for the direct messaging app. So if you enjoyed this video, you want to follow me along, go down below and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you think about my design, ways that I can improve upon it, and then I will see you in the next video. Peace.